Hello, ladles and jelly spoons. Um, it's Muscle Shoals forward slash Aegis, and I've got some S&D for you today. Um, I never upload S&D. In fact, I haven't uploaded it since I started my channel, which is kind of strange, but I, I really don't like how slow-paced S&D is, quite often anyway. It's, sometimes it's pretty fast, but the only reason I'm playing it is because I've got my friend Zone with me, uh, Rockin' Zoned, and uh, we, we play a lot of S&D together because... Um, he likes S and D. He prefers S and D to ground war or to demolition, which we like to play with Bengans with us. But um, yeah, it was just me and Zone. Uh, oh wait, there's another guy. I don't know who his name was. Um, and it was it was pretty fun. So um, I I think in the first round I get a five man round, mostly with the sniper, but I get this guy with the Rafika there. Um, and I go twelve, eleven to two, I believe, which isn't too bad uh, for me, especially with a sniper rifle. Because uh, I'm usually the assault rifle kind of guy who gets nukes, so um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. But today I'm actually going to be talking a bit more about uh, Modern Warfare 3 and my expectations and aspirations. Um, because there is key that they get Modern Warfare 3 right, because um, a lot of people are being put off the Call of Duty series because of um, all the shenanigans that are going on, uh, with everyone uh, being pissed off at Black Ops at the moment. And the fact that Infinity Ward still haven't patched, or Activision still haven't patched uh, this game with what one man army tubers, um, all sorts of glitches, um, and faggoted things that people can do. And it's my theory and Zone's theory that it's not the game, it's the, it's the players. And this game would be so great if everyone just tried to have fun instead of trying to play the objective so much. Uh, well, I don't really play the objective, because playing the objective is fine, but. Um, if that's how you have fun, then that's fine, but uh, trying hard with tubes or whatever, it just isn't my idea of fun, so I, I never do it. You'll never see me doing that, so... Um, unless I get tubed, anyway, at the start. If I get tubed, then I'll tube them back, and they'll probably get nuked. So, that's how I deal with tubers. Mm. Um, in Modern Warfare 3, however, uh, I'm hoping there's going to be tubes like there are in Black Ops. Uh, so they've got very little damage, and uh, they only kill with one if you hit them directly and stuff. That's that's what I hope for Modern Warfare 3, because even without da Danger Close, the noob tubes in this game are still overpowered. Because you can stick, let's say, a hardline, um, woman army hardline tube, or a woman army cold-blooded tube, and you'll still rape as much face as if you had Danger Close on. It's pretty ridiculously overpowered, and the, the only effective... Uh, mechanism to combat it is the blast shield which absolutely sucks penis it it has it hardly has any effect when you're being tubed and um it takes away your uav and your equipment slot so for black ops for black ops for modern warfare 3 i really hope to have a perk that will combat anything that's explosive against you but i don't want something that will increase health and i don't want something like stopping power I think Stopping Power and Juggernaut should both be taken out. Definitely no Death Streaks. I hope they've learned from their mistakes. Death, Death Streaks are the most stupid addition to any Modern Warfare, to any Call of Duty ever. Um, in my opinion, anyway. I just no, don't get why they'd add Death Streaks onto a game. Because it's it's against the whole point of the game. <laughs> it's, it's just stupid in my opinion, but there you are. Um... This Le Levi guy is trying to get a 360 no scope, whatever it is, and I am not one of those guys who's going to try and do that because um, I I'm a gameplay sort of guy, not a trick shotter. But if that's trick shot is your sort of thing, then um, whatever you like, I guess. On that note of quick scoping and no scoping and whatnot, with the whole fanboyism and stuff, uh, I think Sleight of Hand Pro shouldn't return. I certainly have a lot more fun. Um, playing with a sniper rifle in COD 4 than I do in Modern Warfare 2. Um, just because the Barrett and the M40 are so smexy, and the fact that they don't have Sleight of Hand Pro makes it more fun, to be honest. FMJ, I think, should return, or at least the equivalent, because I don't like Deep Impact taking away my Steady Aim or Dead Silence or whatever you wanted to use. And that's why I like sniping in this game. That's one of the reasons why I like sniping in this game. But um, the thing is, Sleight of Hand Pro in this game for snipers is not overpowered because all the other guns, like the UMP and all of those with stopping power, are just ridiculously overpowered. So 
Um, to have it, to have not to have sleight of hand pro would be suicide. Even though it's really fun to use mouth and sniping. And here, I don't know what I was doing firing at the ceiling, but my bad. I know a lot of people listening probably won't be playing PC, so host migration and this sort of thing without dedicated servers. For PC, I hope dedicated servers will return. And maybe for consoles too, actually, because dedicated servers on consoles would be pretty cool, in my opinion. Uh, but if not, then lag and migration should be fixed, because in this game, in Modern Warfare 3 even on PC, Modern Warfare 2 even on PC, lag happens so often, and it can be avoided by just kicking the goddamn host and uh, putting a new one in place that doesn't lag as much. And I think that should be implemented, like, if, say, everyone in the lobby goes over 200 ping or something, they should kick the host. <laughs> But often there's these things called lag switches. I don't know if they occur on consoles, but they lag everyone out in the lobby except from the person who's using the lag switch. And I've been nuked many a time by just lag switching, which means that I might have 999 ping and won't be able to kill anyone. And he'll just run around with the UMP and get a nuke against us, which is pretty goddamn unfair. But yeah, they they should be kicked. They should be banned. And in Modern Warfare 2, there's such a hack community. I mean, everyone and their brother is aimbotting and wall hacking. It's just ridiculous, because it's not... It's a game, for God's sake. Why are you doing that sort of shit? I just don't understand it. And I get really frustrated at the faggots that hack in this game. It's unbelievable. So please leave a comment, guys. What do you hate about this game, and therefore... What do you want to be out when it comes to Modern Warfare 3? What do you love about this game? What do you want to get in? Um, and I can talk about some more of that stuff next time. Also, I'll be talking about physics next time, I think, because I'll do a little nuke commentary again. And this guy gets the last kill with his AK-47. Uh, what a prick. I wanted another round, because we had 4-0 to zero win, 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 win there. Which is kind of a shame, because I could have gotten more kills, but... Never mind. Um, thank you guys for watching. This has been Agus, and I'm out. Peace.